Hi, this is the interface where you have to log in for your test. So you have to input your test ID and password, which is provided to you on a chat by the invigilator. So make sure that you input your user ID, test ID and password correctly. Click on continue button. Here you have to input your first name and last name. If your name is Muhammad Muzammil Ali, then you have to put Muhammad Muzammil here and Ali in the last name. So you have to put your first name and last name as it is on your admit card. Then you have to input your email address same as you provided in the admission form. Then click on start button. Some instructions will appear in front of you and you have to read it carefully. The instructions are related to the number of questions and the time of the test and any of the other information which is relevant to the test. Make sure that you read it carefully. Then there will be some more instructions which will be provided by us to you and you have to read it also. Then you have to click on start button. Once you start button, your test will start and your time clock will start to blink. So here you will see your remaining time and you will see the question here. The section from which the question has been taken will be written here. As you can see that this question is taken from the English section. So the English is here. From each section, there will be 25 questions and therefore, in all, there will be 100 questions. You can click on next button to access the next question. Here is another question from the same section because all 25 questions will come from the same section. Then you have to select one answer. You will be able to select only one answer and then you have to click on next. So this is another question from the same section. You can go to your previous question by clicking on any of these links. You can click on previous so that you can access your previous question. You can change it or you can click on this link to access your previously attempted and non attempted question. In English section, when you will reach to a comprehension question, it will be like this. It will be a complete comprehension with five questions. And for each question, you have to select the appropriate answer. You can see that you have to read this comprehension. Please read all the notes carefully and then attempt the questions below this comprehension. So for each question, there will be four choices and you have to select the appropriate choice from the pull down menu. For example, if you are going to attempt question one, you have to read the question one carefully and then choose the answer. Then go to the question one and then select the pull down menu and then select the appropriate answer. In the same way, you have to select the appropriate answer for question two and question two pull down menu is here and you have to select the question two answer. In the math section, you will see some equations. You have to determine the appropriate answer for this question and then you have to select one. You have to do rough work on the pages provided to you. Make sure that you have your own pen and pencil with you. As told you before, you can click on this link to access your previously attempt or not attempted question. You can see the list of questions which are attempted or not attempted. These are the attempted questions which are highlighted in orange and gray one which are not attempted yet. So you can click on them and this question will be in front of you. To reach to the finish button, you have to click on next next and you have to reach to the last question. Make sure that you attempted all the questions because there is no negative marking. At the last question, a new button will appear and that would be finish now. In our case, we have 57 questions for the sample test. That is the reason we, this is the last question. You have to attempt the last question and then you have to click on finish now button. But if you want to access any of the previously attempted or not attempted question, you can go through those questions through this link and you can attempt any of the question. But make sure that once you attempt any of the question between the list, you have to again go back to the last question and you can go to the last question by using the same list and go to the last question. Now, if you want to submit and finalize your test, you must click on finish now button. It will ask you to confirm the finish button again and then you have to click on finish now button again. This screen shows that your test is successfully submitted. Your result will be announced after the last session and last date of the test on NED University website.